are so loved by this crowd oh, today. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, let's switch gears to impeachment because it's sure. really at a stalemate right now. And you would be spending a lot of time if the impeachment went to the Senate, obviously off the yes. campaign trail. John Bolton said he's willing to testify. Is that all the more reason for Nancy Pelosi, who is right now saying, I'm not going to hand over the articles of impeachment because there won't be a fair trial? Is that all the more reason for her to say, let's send this over to the Senate? And then if Republicans don't want to hear from people, that's on them. Uh, you know, I see it the other way. I see it when yeah. John Bolton says he wants mm. to testify, then now's the time to step up, uh, Mitch McConnell, and lay out what the rules are going to be for this trial. Nancy Pelosi's trying to get done, I think. And he's not the only one. You know, there are people who have evidently firsthand knowledge. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Senate trial should include subpoenas for them. And there are documents that are yes. contemporaneous documents. These are documents that should be available under the Freedom of Information Act yes. and in the middle of a congressional investigation. We think, we've talked on the show about executive privilege and how when you're subpoenaed, you should follow through on that. You should be able, you should be forced to testify. And now we're sort of in this place of, that's not happening. Like, we're not hearing I'll go, from people. Maybe I won't, I'll decide later. Now, what presidents is that? have abused executive but, privilege for a long time. Yeah. But I don't see this as just executive privilege. I see this as undermining the whole notion of law yeah. and the Constitution yes, right. and yes. what applies across the board to everyone. And I'll, I'll tell you when it started for me big time. You can always look at smaller pieces. But when President Obama nominated Merrick Garland to yeah. be a Supreme Court Justice, yeah. he had a year as a sitting president. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. when Mitch McConnell just said, sorry, he's not getting a hearing, uh, we're not even going to meet with him. Yeah. The Constitution says the president will nominate. That's right. And the That's Senate right. will then offer its advice but, and consent. Yeah, yeah. And you really want it in a confirmation. Mm -hmm. We never wrote it with the assumption that, oh, you've got to say within 30 days yeah, and yeah. then someone's got to come That in. was unconstitutional. Because the yeah. assumption yeah, but was second. we would work together. Yeah. Uh, to Senator, let's say this happens again. Let's say somebody on the Supreme Court has, retires or, God forbid, dies or anything. Uh, can we say the same thing? You know, I don't think that's the approach we well, should be using I, here. Well, listen, we need to reestablish. I know, so the way he did it was unconstitutional. Yeah. And now we're just going to follow the law and get another conservative on the, on, the, on the court? Well, I don't think that's where we are. And look, I understand there's a difference if this happens in the last hour and a half of someone's presidency, that there are practical considerations. But President Obama was in the, he had a full year yeah. as president of the United States. Mm -hmm. And the notion that somehow a majority leader who was just willing to roll the dice that maybe he'd get somebody from his party in yeah. on the Supreme Court, that he was willing just to violate every principle of how that constitution well, is Rich written McConnell. is just wrong. He also has decided that um, uh, basically Trump is not guilty, whatever. And so he has made up his mind, and that's, that's the way he's voting. And I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, have you made that same decision so that he has? Because that would be, make you less impartial also. So here's how I see it right now. <clears throat> yeah. um, we have seen evidence. I've watched the hearings in the House. Uh, we've yeah. read the documentary evidence. And it has shown grounds for impeachment. I mean, it's there. I am willing to listen to the Trump administration put on a defense. Yeah. Right. Offer you some witnesses. Yeah. Bring in those right. documents. Right. If you think you've got something that helps you, There's right. an bring it forward and witness. I will listen. Uh -huh. And I am ready to make a judgment on that exculpatory evidence. But so long as all we're hearing is no. <laughs> this is what uh, that that President Trump called the president of Ukraine in order to squeeze the president of Ukraine to help President Trump politically and personally, mm -hmm. all of the evidence is consistent with that, then I don't see how it's possible right. not to vote for okay. impeachment. But, but it seems but to bring me... Bring forward a defense if all you've right. got one. And it seems to me that if Bolton was in the room and he has exculpatory evidence, wouldn't President Trump want him to testify? I've, in my experience, you, know, it, you always want that person that was in the room to say, I have a witness, have him come on. Right, you know what you're doing. There's an old Sherlock Holmes yeah. that starts with the dog that didn't bark, right? right? Uh, and the yeah. whole notion 
is if you ain't bringing your dogs out there to bark, there's a reason yeah. for it. <laughs> so I think it's fair. Every time the president says, I don't want you to see this document, I don't want you to hear from these witnesses who have yeah. first-hand knowledge. I don't Unless want you to see anything. anything. I don't want you to see anything. No tax returns. That's no right. Nothing. No nothing. Yeah. I think it's fair to draw the inference yes. that this would be very harmful it, it to must President be. Even his Trump. school grades, his college grades, he doesn't want to let yeah. them. Yeah. What is there? What, what is there? I, I have to ask. It doesn't make sense. Nothing. I, I have to ask you, Senator. Um, <laughs> the trial could go on for many weeks. We, yeah. we, we are hearing if there is to be a trial with witnesses. Um, we're 27 days from the Iowa we caucus. Uh, Joe Biden will be able to campaign with the people. Pete uh, Buttigieg would be able to do that. You would not be able mm -hmm. to do that. Um, are you worried about that? Some things are more important than politics. I took an oath to uphold the Constitution. <laughs> Because, you know, they're trying, they're, they're floating this idea of changing the rules. how these rules are put in. And, and I wonder how much noise are the Democrats willing to make if a change is made to these constitutional issues? Yeah, well, uh, you know, this is the time not only that we need to stand up. We need to stand up and be loud. And let me just say on that, we need to stand up and be loud that America does not want to go to war against yes. Iran. Yeah. We need to stand up and be loud that we want impeachment rules that are fair. Yep. Yeah.